69 Vichyssois. Delicious. <sighs> Mr. Scholl, some of my sources have come to me and said, you're having a birthday. Now, with Twitter, Facebook, word gets out. As much as you may have tried to hide it, sorry. <sighs> but it's got me thinking. Birthdays, they're not easy. People want you to get dressed up, have a good time. You have to be the center of attention. And that takes a lot of energy, and who needs that? Especially in today's busy world. There's an election going on. Donald Trump's probably beating someone up right now. But yet you have to go out. Be with your family. And I know you need encouragement. So that's why I'm here today. Take my advice. You don't have to get completely dressed. Get half dressed. You could sit on the couch all day. People could bring you hot chocolate. But I know your kids, Mr. Scholl. They're not bringing you hot chocolate. So, unless you want to bring yourself hot chocolate, put on your jacket. You don't have to wear pants. Go to the restaurant. Get everyone together. You're going to have a good time. I know maybe you don't want to go now, but it's going to be worth it. Because you are the patriarch of the Scholl family. That Scholl family would be nothing without you. And you've done an excellent job. Take it from me, one of the finest families I've ever come to see. Please, let me be the first. Mr. Scholl. Happy birthday. Cheers. Hi, I'm John Aceves. As you can see from this oversized phone behind me, I've become a very successful business type person. But I wanted to take a minute from my busy business schedule to wish Mr. Scholl a happy bar mitzvah. What? Wait, what? Oh, birthday. Oh, okay, that makes much more sense. And if they have brisses at bar mitzvahs, much less painful. Mr. Scholl, happy birthday. You will always be Mr. Scholl to me. I remember the first time I met you, you introduced yourself by saying, hi, I'm Len Scholl. And I was so nervous, I immediately responded, hi, I'm Len Scholl. You graciously laughed and said something like, wow, what a coincidence. Seriously, happy birthday. Your family was always so kind to me and I love you for it and miss you all very much. Enjoy the festivities and wish I was there to join in the fun. Oh, Len Scholl, I understand you're going to be celebrating a birthday pretty soon. How old is he going to be? Yeah? I believe he's going to be number eight. Oh. Eight zero. Wow. We miss you, Len. Wish we could get together from time to time. If you ever find your way out west, you'd be sure to come and stay with us a while. We want to wish you a very happy birthday, my friend. We miss you. You know, we love you. And. Uh, uh, maybe maybe someday we'll be out that way. We could drop by. But happy birthday. We have fond memories and we had a lot of good times together with you and Betty and family. We look forward to seeing you again. And we got somebody else that wants to say hello. Uh, are you, don't go anywhere now. You just stay right there. Hi, Lynn. It's me, Katie. Happy birthday. Enjoy a fantastic celebration with your family and friends. Love you and miss you. I have such good memories of when Colin and I came to Tulsa and had such a fantastic time with you. Love you, miss you. And now someone else is going to come join us to wish you birthday wishes. And who is this, Katie? This would be Colin. <laughs> this would be Colin. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday, Len. I'd love to be there to celebrate with you and all of the family, but I'm there in spirit. So have a wonderful day and a wonderful celebration of life. Hard to believe that you're 80 years old, but then we're all heading in that direction, aren't we? Anyway, lovely to talk to you in this video. Uh, this is the first time I've made a video like this, so you're my guinea pig. <laughs> Enjoy the day. Bye-bye. <laughs>